Another blast of snow is on track for millions of Americans in the Midwest. It's right on the tail of another storm system that dumped snow throughout the region Friday, including more than a foot in some areas around Chicago. The winter weather has grounded more than 1,900 flights nationwide since Friday morning. Dean Reynolds is at O'Hare Airport this morning where travelers are hoping things get back on track today. Good morning, Dean. Good morning. Nearly 900 of those canceled flights were connected to O'Hare. Additional flights were scrubbed at Midway, and the trouble was not limited to air travel. As the snow piled up, so did the cars and trucks on Interstate 94 east of Kalamazoo, Michigan. A chain reaction crash involving more than 50 vehicles shut the highway down for hours. While no one was seriously hurt, there were some close calls. Truck driver Robert Rowe narrowly avoided a serious crash. When I saw I was going to hit him, I was like, well, okay, which way can I go? And the ditch was the only uh, other alternative. While driving conditions have been dangerous, so too can be the shoveling. Doctors suspect an Illinois man died of a heart attack while removing snow. When you start having chest pain or chest discomfort, you should stop. If you start feeling really short of breath or feeling lightheaded or nauseous or start breaking into a sweat, those are signs that are very concerning. While the season's biggest snowfall wasn't crippling for Chicago, the city wasn't taking things lightly. All public schools were closed, hundreds of plow trucks were on the roads, and these firefighters spent the day digging out fire hydrants. Another first responder in Milwaukee answered the call. Officer Jason Schneider and his dad used a metal detector to help a nurse find her wedding ring that fell into a snowbank. But the reunions will have to wait for some of those travelers still stranded here at O'Hare. If this happened in Alabama, people would be out buying uh, disability insurance and life insurance <laughs> and taking out burial policies because the end of days would be soon. With as much as six more inches of snowfall possible this weekend, whether traveling by car or by air, the best advice is to take plenty of time. Alex. Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Thanks, Dean.